What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, give me your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation questions of the day. One, did Josh Reddick get what he deserved? Did Dodger fans not go hard enough? Would you be one of the Dodger fans booing him last night? What'd you think about Dieter Rule playing I Saw the Sign? I want all your takes on Josh Reddick down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. But my favorite thing I saw last night was the Dodger fans giving Josh Reddick hell. Every time he came to the plate, you heard the whole entire ravine chanting cheater. So Josh Reddick, by far one of the most hated former Dodgers. Look, they say once a Dodger, always a Dodger. That rule doesn't apply to Josh Reddick. It's more like once a Dodger, never a Dodger. We wish we could forget that you ever wore Dodger blue. But shout out to every Dodger fan there last night, giving Josh Reddick the business. It felt like there were 56,000 in the stands. It felt like there was a packed house at the ravine when there were a little over 15,000 in the stands. So great job, Dodger fans. I owe you some micheladas and Dodger dogs. But why do the Dodger fans especially hate Josh Reddick? Well, he was on that 2017 Astros team that was implicated in the cheating scandal. You had the trash can banging. You had the cameras positioned out in center field. It was one of the worst cheating scandals that we've seen in the history of Major League Baseball. But to make matters worse, during spring training of the following year, he was quoted as saying, at some point, you have to move on and not give a shit. We're going to go out there and win and shut everybody up. Well, one, you lost the Tampa Bay Rays in the ALCS. So you didn't shut anybody up. And also, you could give Josh Reddick all the signs. You could let him know what's coming. And he still couldn't hit water if he fell off a boat. He's just not a good hitter. You saw Kenley Jansen make him look foolish there in the ninth inning. But he invited this. He made matters so much worse by not just keeping his mouth shut, not just apologizing. And now fans, they have not forgotten and you saw last night. Now, for the player of the game last night, I'm not going with a baseball player. I'm going with an Oregon player and I'm talking about Dieter Rohl the best in the game when Josh Reddick came to bat in the top of the fourth inning he played ace of bases I saw the sign <laughs> I saw the sign or heard the sign oh geez Dieter Dieter you got any garbage can songs <laughs> And then Joe Davis and Oral Hershiser, they joined in on the fun. Here's Joral talking about what the Dodger Stadium fans were chanting at Josh Reddick. The fans weren't chanting for a heater from Trinan. <laughs> it was something that rhymes with it, though. And the Marlins are out of town, so it's not Jeter. Nope. So give it up for Dodgers Nation. You guys killed it last night going in on Josh Reddick. And Josh Reddick, if you want the booze to stop, all you have to do is apologize and give back that ring. Because if you do that, those booze will go down by a hefty margin. And I think it's going to be really bad when the Astros, when the Asterisks, when they come to town in early August. I think you're going to see some of those players on the IL. They're going to have some reasons why Altuve and Correa and Gurriel, some of those guys aren't in the lineup. I'm telling you, it's going to be so bad that I wouldn't be surprised if the Trastros just gave up their rings and the trophy by the second inning because the Dodger fans are going to be a nightmare for them. And I don't want to hear that Dodger fans took it too far last night against Josh Reddick. How about the time this fan tweeted him, Josh Reddick, I used to like you. Those A's teams will forever be close to my childhood, but you sit there flexing with your ring after someone said that you cheated with your 167 batting average in the World Series, looking asses stupid and arrogant. And then he tweeted, tweeted back a picture of his World Series ring. So he's been taunting fans. He's been trying to get under fan skin for years on this issue. So don't be surprised when Dodger fans are booing. They're chanting cheater. They're chanting Ruck Josh Fedick because you asked for this with your antics after the Astros were caught. After the Trastros were exposed, you didn't do anything to help out the cause. You didn't come clean. I know there's some talk that Josh Reddick was one of the only guys that didn't steal the signs, but I don't even believe that too. I think 
think he's just saying that because he's so embarrassed that he had the signs and still hit 169 with a 413 OPS during the 2017 postseason. Now, even if you put a beach ball on a tee for Josh Reddick, I doubt he even hits 200 in that postseason. But as you can see, Dodger fans aren't even close to being over the 2017 sign-stealing scandal. They should be on their way to a Dodgers dynasty because Rob Manfred didn't do anything. There was no adequate punishments, and they're going to take it out on guys like Josh Reddick because they're still pissed about it. But let me know down below in the comments, did the Dodger fans go too far last night with the way they were going in on Josh Reddick with the booze, with the chanting cheating, with Diderot playing I saw the sign? Give me your takes down below in the comment section. And how pissed are you still about the 2017 World Series, about the sign-stealing scandal? Let me know down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For the latest Dodgers Nation gear, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.